Throughout some videos on my channel, you may have noticed someone popping in to wave and say hi. Yes, that is indeed my mom. I've gotten numerous comments asking for her to have her own video, picking my reads, or just getting in on a video, and that's why we're here today. I let my mom choose books from my September TBR stack and read those throughout this video. Also, mini shameless plug for my wonderful mom. She's a business owner of her own baby clothing shop. She designs the clothes and sells on Etsy. If any of you have children or family members, literally any child that you know, I'll link it down below if you want to shop her Etsy shop. So with all that being said, enjoy my beautiful mom choosing some books throughout the week and the spoiler-free reading vlog of me reading them. Mom! <laughs> Hi, everyone. My mom. Okay, what you're gonna do? My TBR card is right here. Only the books up here, this row. You can go through them and read them. You can ask me questions, but just choose one. And then after I read it, you can choose the other one. Okay. Okay? Local woman's missing. Mm. That's a mystery. Do you know? Okay. I need something fun. That's a fantasy. Oh, <gasps> that should be fun. Okay. This looks pretty. That's the last in like a Criminal Minds kind of series. Like a young adult. Right up my alley. Yeah, I feel like you would like. And maybe. <laughs> yeah, I knew you weren't gonna like this. No. That's a romance. Mm. Okay. Also a romance. Okay. <laughs> And this? That's like a mystery thriller. <gasps> that one. But that's also a mystery. You didn't like that one? So we're gonna put them here. We're gonna put this one here, this one here. One more. What is this? That's like superheroes. That's like a romance fantasy. And this one? That's a romance. And this one? It's kind of like just a romance fiction. Okay, so let's look at these. Okay, perfect. Eeny, meeny, mo. Mom, mo. <laughs> Mom, you can't <laughs> Oh, I think that's a romance, young adult. Thriller? No, a romance. So I go like this that? one. This one, Bad Blood. So she chose Bad. <laughs> she chose Bad Blood as the first one. This is the fourth in the Natural series. The last book in the Natural series, which I was very excited to read because I want to finish the series and I'm excited to see how they finish it up. I think this is the last one. There's also a novella at the end, so it's like a little two in one. I'm gonna read this first. We're doing it in increments. So she's gonna pick one. I'm gonna finish it, and then you'll pick the next one. And, and then, then I'll read it. You're gonna read this? Yeah. No, you're not. She's not gonna read this. I'm no, gonna read it. She's not. I like mystery. She's I lying. Will. She's I not. promise. No, she's I not. I promise. Okay, we're gonna read this one first. Bye. Till See you soon. See you in a few days. updated since I started this book because honestly I started this video a couple days ago and I've only read since then other than today like maybe like 30 40 pages I was so busy so I finally got to more of it today and I am thoroughly enjoying it again I told you I was like 30 40 pages in and I now I'm on 234 so I've been binging this this morning I read a bunch and then I had work like all day long and now I literally have been binging like hundreds of pages at a time I don't know math, so I don't think that math really adds up, but I have been reading like a lot. So as you guys know, this is part of the natural series. I didn't say too much about it because I feel like I've talked about the natural series in a lot of my previous videos. Basically, it's just these five teenagers that are kind of recruited for different specialties that they have to help the FBI on cold cases and like active cases. And it's very, very interesting, very fast paced, very entertaining. The found family is amazing. All the side characters are amazing. Like it's just so, so good. I couldn't recommend the series enough. And it's just so fun. So every book is kind of follows more of each main character that are part of the naturals and the naturals are the five teenagers so this one is following one of the main characters that i really wanted more of my favorite book so far is the second one but the third one follows my favorite character of like the group either way i'm enjoying it so much this one lost me a little bit in the beginning i think it's because i was taking too many breaks like connecting all the dots was a little hard for me because the case that's been going on since even the first book i feel like it hinted at it is kind of really like blowing up in this one which is so fun to go along but the beginning of it lost me a little bit but i now i'm finally like completely understanding i'm excited to see where this goes and what happens i have like no theories at all like the main 
issue i don't know how to really explain this without giving anything away but i want to know what's going to happen and how they're going to like unveil and how jennifer lynn barnes is going to like make this series complete i don't know i'm very interested i feel like jennifer lynn barnes like her mind when it comes to like intricate details and like the way that these stories flow within each other and like like i said this big case hinted in the first one and now it's like through every single book it like unravels into this but she makes such a great backstory to each character and her writing is just so good and i felt the same way about the inheritance games like i feel like her mind just like can create these stories in such a great way so this one's going so good i'm really excited to finish this i have about 140 pages left of the actual book and then there's a novella at the end which i think i'm actually gonna read so i'm just gonna count this as the novella and this book because i feel like i should just do that i should just finish the whole series and it's been such a long time since i've completed a full series and that's saying something because i'm like obsessed so highly recommend i'm excited to see how this one ends i think i'm gonna binge it tonight at least just the book the novella maybe i'll read tomorrow but i will give you guys an update if i finish or maybe an update before i finish to see how it went maybe if i have any thoughts before then i'm excited i think i'm gonna stay up and binge it i just feel like i should i feel like this is gonna be a good ending and i really want to know how it ends i'm so excited i'm gonna go finish this though at least the book not the novella maybe all of it maybe i'll surprise myself and finish this whole entire thing that would be so fun okay i'm gonna go now i'm gonna go read finishing this book but last night i finished the actual book the actual bad blood last book in the series and i cannot even explain to you the plot twist that got me in this book the first one i got on camera that i put in a little bit of a clip but that one first shook me i was gasping but the second one was a huge plot twist i did not see coming and like i said in my last clip talking about this book the way jennifer lynn barnes has connected all four books in the series is actually insane i do not know how her mind was able to like weave this in and i just did not expect it in the slightest lightest bit i was completely taken off guard taken off guard caught off guard and i sat there like staring at my wall for a good amount of time i was completely and utterly just shook at what it was so i gave this 4.5 stars i feel like the beginning of it was a little bit not slow to get into but i think i was just reading it slow i don't know i was trying to connect the dots a little bit more and it took me a little longer to get into but once i got into it i couldn't put it down i read like majority of the book last night and i didn't sleep until i finished it and it was just so good an amazing way to end the series and then this morning i read and just laid here and finished the novella it was a little over 100 pages it was super quick it actually takes place a few years in the future but all of the besties together working on another case that they're working on and what they're doing now and i just i could read about these people these characters forever i feel like it's such an amazing found family and i love that they're just like so different such different personalities different skill sets but all of them together oh, i love them so much if you have not read the series highly 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 recommend you have to read it i cannot wait to tell my mom about this book tell her my rating i'm gonna make her guess the rating but before we do i want to thank today's sponsor which is helix sleep i've been laying on my mom's bed all morning she's cleaning the sheets so we just have the mattress on here and it is so comfortable so thank you helix sleep for sponsoring today's video helix sleep is premium mattresses customized to fit your needs and delivered right to your door so like i said it's customized to fit your needs they have a mattress sleep quiz you can take on their website so i actually made my mom go through this quiz because she has been complaining i actually kid you not maybe you have six months at this point about her back and her mattress she needs a new one on this and i was like you know what this one delivers right to the door we don't have to go mattress shopping it's going to fit to what you need sleeping so she took the quiz you basically just go onto the website and ask you questions based on your body type your sleep preferences everybody's different and helix knows that so they made a sleep quiz that matches your unique body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you so based on your different sleep positions and firmness preferences they have something for everyone's unique taste and also if you sleep with a partner 
partner, you can take the sleep quiz together and find something that's the perfect compromise for the both of you. Like I said, I took the quiz with my mom and she got the one that we actually ended up getting. I took one for myself just to see what I would end up getting, but she has been sleeping on this thing for a few months now and she is obsessed. But she has a bad back. Like I said, she needed like soft support and she also sleeps on her side. So she needed support for all of that and also to help her back because she has been complaining. I'm not even kidding. You can ask her for so long. So we ended up getting her the Helix Sunset Luxe bed. It also has the cooling on top and I'm sitting on it right now and I'm feeling it and I feel the cooling. It does not stop cooling. It feels so good. The cooling part on top is called the Glacio Text Cooling Cover. It just keeps you cool and comfortable while you're sleeping and I've been laying on this bed all morning and I'm not even kidding. It has not stopped feeling cool. It is the most incredible feeling and thing on a mattress ever. Helix mattresses are also fiberglass free so it's not harmful to your health. They own their own manufacturing facility so it's entirely free from containing any products with fiberglass. One of my favorite things about this Helix mattress is that it delivers right to your front door with free shipping in the US. Me and my mom opened the package, opened the mattress, we're cutting it open and we watched it just like pop open and kind of just levitate to the huge king size size that it is and it was so fun to watch and do. It just comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up yourself. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, Helix has a 100 night sleep trial so you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. Plus, Helix mattresses have a 10 year warranty and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans so a great night's sleep is never far away. So like I said, my mom has been using this mattress for a couple months now. I'm gonna go ask her some questions and see how she's been feeling about this mattress because I have not heard her complain about her back since getting this mattress so things are looking up here but I'm gonna go get her and we're gonna ask her a few questions about how she feels about this mattress. <laughs> what about your back? It's a lot better. No, seriously, it's a lot better. And the cooling is crazy amazing. I haven't heard her complain about her back once since sleeping back on this bed. And absolutely no back pain. Told you. You like that you could have it delivered to your door? That was amazing. Just... You bring it upstairs, you open the box, it goes boom, boom, <laughs> and here you go. It's beautiful. And it's amazing and so comfortable and we love it. So we love this Helix mattress. We think you would too. If you're looking for a new mattress, check out Helix Sleep. Their Labor Day sale is running now. It's the perfect time to upgrade your sleep you can get 25% off your helix mattress and two free pillows you can click the link in the description if you are interested in this sale again it's 25% off and two free pillows how fun is that you will not be disappointed <laughs> okay thank you so much helix sleep now let's tell mom about our book and she's gonna pick out the next one for me to read because I'm ready for my next book let's go to my room first okay we're switching bye <laughs> She's back. It's been two seconds. I just told them about this book. I finished this last night. I stayed up till 1 a.m. finishing this book because it was so good. There's a plot twist at the end. Staring at my wall, I told them it was just so good. And this was the last in the series and I'm very sad that it's over. I rate books out of five stars. What do you think I rated this? You can give half stars too. Four and a half. <gasps> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I rated this. <laughs> Great pick. I actually really wanted to read that. Book cart is back. I added another book to this. My friend just gave it five stars. I won't tell you which one, but if you figure it out, I really would love to read it. This is not new. She's holding Hello Stranger. No, that's not new. This one, no. This one. That one's a mystery. Thriller. Okay, so hold on. So we're going to find this one. That one's new. My friend is reading that right now and she would love to buddy read that Wait, with is this, me. Wait, is this mystery? I don't know what it is. I think it's like a fantasy. Okay, so hold on. That's a romance. Mm. My mom says she used to read books. She used to read mysteries, thrillers? No, there was drama, lawyer stuff, drama stuff. I should give you a book. No. You already picked that one up. You're not even paying attention. I am paying attention, but it's just all the same. You already picked all these up. The girl he used to know. Oh. Mm, that's, oh! That's about a race car driver romance. Look how pretty this is. Oh my goodness, look at the illustration. This is so pretty. Hold on. We, we got this one, we got this one. That one's a fantasy. This looks scary. That's dystopian. You could read the backs of them if you want to know what they're about. So you've gone through every single one. Okay, so this one. I think it's a murder mystery. Oh, that should be fine. Tell them why you picked that one. I feel like you don't even have a reason. It's a new book. It's not the new book. <laughs> Actually, I did just recently buy this, but it's not the new book that I added to this cart. No, but you don't have to keep going. I'll read that one. Oh my goodness, what's this? Let's try this. Wait, <laughs> you have to pick one. I picked this. That? <laughs> yes. Okay, this author is the same author as one of my favorite books ever. Aren't they pretty? Oh my goodness, look at this, Divine Rivals. Look how pretty this is. Look, it's all the same book, but different. Look. This is beautiful. Look at this illustration. Mm -hmm. Look at this all illustration. All my editions of the best book ever. This is beautiful. So it's by the same author that So I think this. this one. I picked this. Okay, well, let me put this back. Yeah have to finish the series. No, it's not. It's just the same author. Different oh, book, same author. Oh, this is great. So you're going to love it. This is great. Hopefully I love it. What do you think I'm going to rate this? Five. 
Oh, you think? Yes. She has high hopes. Okay, I'm gonna read this and then we'll pick the last book after. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> next day i'm in my brother's room right now my sheets are being cleaned and i just wanted to lay down so i've been reading in here and i've gotten to page 136 of this book i'm on chapter 8 the chapters are a bit longer and it's not reading anything like divine rivals did like it's a completely different genre of fantasy and i feel like her writing style is very different in this one very interesting because i thought that it was going to be like written in the same type of like fantasy romanticy romantic way like that kind of story but it's completely different i didn't tell you guys what this was about because i actually didn't know i just knew it was a fantasy and that there was like a romance in it because every time i read the summary i was a little bit confused it's kind of like a folk fantasy and i've never read one of those before is kind of like i don't know if that's actually a thing but it's basically like folk stories within this fantasy world and like the spirits are like earth wind fire air or something like that and the people of this clan have had these little girls go missing they're on their third little girl who's like five years old one is eight years old like three of them have gone missing and they think that the spirits have taken them so they're trying to figure out how to get the spirits to get the children back and get the girls back but then there's like this little feud between one clan and the other clan something happened between them and it kind of split up the two of them so now they're in like enemy territories and it kind of follows a few characters because it's third point of view but the main characters is jack who's a professor at a university on the mainland which is not where they live it's like a different part and he was teaching like music and stuff and he has come back he's been there for 10 years and he meets up with i forgot her name adara i think that's how you say it was his kind of like nemesis back in the day you don't get too much of that just yet you get like some little snippets of them back in the day but they were kind of like rivals almost and she's the heiress so she's kind of like higher up there and you kind of get their family members point of views in the third person and what's going on with all of them and everyone's just a little on edge because all these girls are going missing jack also is part of like the music world he sings he has his little instrument and whatever it's very interesting it's not like a high stakes fantasy even though it's about them finding these missing girls like what happened to them it's nothing like adventurous almost it's very like calmly written and it's feeling more of a cozy fantasy vibe and very like folk tales and it looks at the playlist and the one that i'm listening to is kind of just like an ambiance for like the whole story and it's all just like folk songs so like that music vibe it had my headphones in with this book last night i was just like in the zone but it's definitely not reading as her other book did i'm not like loving this book it's i'm a little bored right now so i'm hoping it just picks up because they kind of just like set up the story at this point i feel like now we're like set up for the story and now i think or i'm hoping that it's gonna pick up a little bit and get more into it but yeah i don't think i love this type of fantasy i think i've realized my favorite fantasy is like the high stakes enemies to lovers i know i love divine rivals and it's not like too high stakes until like halfway through the book it's pretty high stakes that one's just really romantic and i love romantic stories so this is just not one i think that i love but we'll see i could change my mind we're kind of still in the beginning so it's also very floppy book which is making me very happy to sit here and read i'm just not like interested or connected at all which is a bummer we'll just have to see how it goes maybe if the romance picks up that's always a plus so maybe if the romance picks up and the story gets a little more entertaining is it even gonna be a romance I don't know. Maybe we'll find some interesting stuff out. I'm gonna go keep reading. And I just needed to tell you guys that I'm not like loving it as much as I thought I would, which is a bummer. Guys, I am so bored right now with this book. It's just not interesting. It is not doing it for me. Like, I'm 
237 pages and i think this book is like over 400 pages like 460 and i'm just like so confused how there's so much words and so much so much being said but like nothing's really going on i think i would actually dnf this if it wasn't for the video but i want to see all the way through because it does have good ratings i just don't know if this is a book for me like i feel like it could happen quicker do you know what i mean i don't know i'm not really having fun with this one so, like okay <laughs> the plot sounds fun like these girls these young girls are going missing from this land and they have to sing songs to the spirits to try to get them to come and help what's going on see if they know what's going on and solve this mystery and it's interesting plot but like the way it's written and the way it's like this folk story and it's like takes place in my head i'm picturing like a village and it's just so boring and I'm so sad about it because I loved Divine Rivals. I loved the writing. I loved all like the beautiful sentences and, and the romance in it. But this one's just not like that. And it's kind of making me upset. Like, it doesn't feel like the same author, if that makes sense. I'm going to finish it though. I actually, what's it called? Audible. I've been listening and reading. Oh, I think I'm halfway. Wait, that's so weird. I'm exactly halfway. I have about seven hours left. So I wanted to finish it today. I read faster than I listen. And I know I could listen to it faster. But when I listen to the words faster, I don't comprehend when I'm reading fast, I do. So that's interesting. So it takes longer for me to listen to the book. So I probably could finish it in a shorter amount of time if I'm reading. But I don't know. It's just not that good. I'm just going to read. I'm going to read all night long. And we're just going to see if I can finish it. Because I really want to finish it. And I don't want to read this anymore. And I'm like really bummed about it. Because I had such high hopes for this book. I'm just going to read. I'm just going to read. Hopefully I finish this soon. Okay, the book has not gotten better. My hopes were so, so high that it would pick up maybe just the beginning and the backstory and just the monotony of what was going on. But I think my expectations were like through the roof of this book because of how much I love Divine Rivals. And I will say it's a little bit similar in the magical realm of the both of them, like the fantasy world, because it's not like fae fantasy, like fairies and wings and stuff. It's more like, I don't know, because like Divine Rivals, the magic came from like the typewriter and the gods that were at war with each other. And this one, it's like some of the people can be healers and some of the people can enchant things and make things enchanted but then you can also summon with the song the spirits of the earth wind fire air like those things together and it's not like a high stake fantasy with like going against each other and killing each other but there are like two clans against each other but it's not like that there's like a high stake situation like these little girls are going missing like, obviously the people are very freaked out about this trying to figure out where these girls are going but it's not like i don't feel the adrenaline like oh my god we have to go get these girls back i will say there was like a few sweet moments that i enjoyed like a few moments that were like cute not enough to make me really enjoy this book and like want to continue like the theme that's throughout this is a lot of like family relationships and relationships in general but i just don't feel it i got to page 382 i don't know if i said that there's like 466 so i have under 100 pages left i'm gonna go finish and then tomorrow morning i'm gonna have my mom pick the last book for us and i'll give you my rating of this i have a rating in my head of how i'm gonna rate this but we'll see how the ending is i don't know if it'll make or break this rating but if it really throws me off guard and takes me by surprise then sure maybe we'll see i'll be back in the morning guys i did finish this last night the ending was good there's a lot that was like coming to light and that was interesting but the way that they revealed it it's like in these stories like these long stories they tell and it's just like i don't know i don't think this is my favorite type of fantasy but if you like folk story and not like high stake adventurous type it's kind of like a slowly written but the fantasy story plot line wasn't for me or just the way it was written and the pacing something about that which just wasn't for me and then the characters i didn't grow to connect to and i think it's because like main relationship between adara and jack there was just like no tension no like longing 
hanging or wanting between them so it's not my favorite story i don't think i would personally recommend it because i didn't love it but i wouldn't say not to try it out just to see if you would like this if you like this kind of fantasy or if maybe if you would but personally i don't like it and i don't think i'll ever think about it again or talk about it again that leads me to my rating i gave it a 2.5 which makes me so sad because literally divine rivals is one of my favorite books of all time my mom's gonna be i don't know her reaction actually when i tell her that i did not give this five stars i'm gonna tell her anyway and then she'll pick my last book let me get her she'll pick our next book and we will read our last book together <laughs> it's a new day thought i rated this five stars Get <gasps> mom interruptions one minute Back. Okay, guess again how many stars I gave this. It didn't give it five. 3.75. I know. I gave it 2.5. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Let me pick a book. I didn't like it. Go for it. This looks too long. <laughs> Oh, I also- I keep going back to this book. I also found out yesterday my mom's not choosing romances because she has a thing against them. I don't like romances. She thinks they're all the same. They are all the same. It's Let hard to be hopeless romantic here. I don't think she's going to be picking any romances. Uh, that's a romance. This. Okay. And this. Okay. So which one? Do you Ooh. Like? Do you like? They're all fantasies. I keep going back to this one, but I think I'm going to pick this one. I like my and it's not long. Oh my God, mom, you're so popular. <laughs> Sorry, one minute. Hi. <laughs> She's so popular. Why did you pick Prison Healer? Just randomly? I feel like you randomly have been picking these. You have randomly? No but wait, it, it looks really, really, really pretty. Okay. It's not long. <laughs> Perfect. That's it. She didn't even read the backs of any book that I've shown her. No, but look, it looks interesting because you know what? It looks like a drama. <laughs> yeah, she likes, what are they? She likes like down. suspense, adventure. That's why she's against romance. Anyway, I'm gonna start this. My friends are reading this right now, so I'm gonna join in with them and they love it. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna read the back of this. I have no idea what this is about. I know it's a trilogy, I think, but I've heard great things because one of my friends just read it. A couple of my other friends are reading it together right now, so I want to read it with them. So I'm actually really happy that she picked this because I put it on my TBR this week because my friends are reading it. I was like, there's a new one on there. Maybe pick that one, but she just, I don't know, randomly chose this one. Okay, let me read the back. I literally don't know what this is about. <gasps> All I saw was air, fire, water, and earth. I'm getting flashbacks to A River Enchanted because those were the spirits that they were summoning. And I'm just like, I don't want to think about that book. Okay, I still don't really get it that much, but I'm going to start this. I heard there's like a romance in here, but I don't know if I made that up. I'll let you guys know what it's about when I get more into it because I don't understand it from the back of it. But heard great things. So I'm going to go start this and I will give an update later. So yesterday I read up to page 82, up to chapter 9, and like I said, I went into this not knowing what it was about, but I have an understanding now, or like the basis of it. So there's this girl named Kiva, Kiva, I don't know how to say her name. She was put into this very rough prison called Karandov, and like no one ever like escapes, no one ever gets out, and it's just like a death sentence basically. And she's been there for I think 10 years, she went when she was younger, and she's the prison healer, so she like helps people get back to health and whatever, but one day the rebel queen comes in, and she is sentenced to not just staying in the prison but she has to go through all of these trials and i think there's four of them but she's like severely hurt so i think that kiva kiva whatever takes her place like i think that's what's gonna happen from the gist that i got of this we haven't gotten to that point yet but i think that's what's gonna happen and then there's a few other side characters that are pretty important i feel like or they're gonna be important one of them is jaren i think that's his name i think he's gonna be like the love interest which i'm very excited for yeah there's other side characters that are pretty interesting so that's kind of what this is about i feel like it's gonna give hunger games vibes i feel like whenever there's like trials you have to go through I always think of Hunger Games, so we'll see. I think the setting though is really interesting because it's in the prison and it's reminding me of in Six of Crows when they go to their little heist thing and they have to go through that huge, I forgot the name of it, but it's reminding me of that because it's just like the way it's like shaped and like the way you can't get out and there's guards everywhere. It's very like high security. It's reminding me of that and it's very interesting to read about. I think there's gonna be a lot going down, a lot of twists maybe. That's what I'm hoping for. Like I feel like things are gonna just make sense because you don't really have too much of her, the main character's background. I don't think we know why she's in there yet like why she got put in here and like why her family's down in here i'm excited to see how it all connects so i want to read more today and we'll see how far i can get it's the weekend so i don't think i'm gonna read too much it's saturday so between today tomorrow and monday i want to finish this i will give updates when i get further i feel like i'm just in like the very beginnings of the story i got like the base of what's gonna happen so i'm intrigued to see where it goes now
after I talked to you guys last. I feel like I read more today, this morning, and yesterday. I like haven't been reading a lot. I don't know what it is. I think it the last book I read, A River Enchanted, put me in like a mini little slump because I can't get through this book. But not that it's bad. I just feel like it's like description, but not a lot happening. Like I feel like it's repetitive right now. I just needed to pick up a little, but I just got a little over halfway. I'm on page 232, chapter 22. I think it's like 400 pages long, so I really would love to finish this today. I'm gonna try my best. I have a lot to do, and I feel like I, what I told you about what happened, nothing has really changed. Like, I haven't really found out anything more. The trials and the rebel queen that she's trying to save, that's really it. Like, nothing has come to light, nothing crazy. Like, I now know why she's in there, though. I guess that's one thing I know, but, like, nothing really else. I heard that the end of this book is crazy. Knowing that the end of this book has plot twists and stuff all i'm thinking about is how it's gonna end what's going on so i'm kind of just like theorizing every little thing or like i'm nitpicking every little thing someone says or does because i'm like is this how the end is gonna connect so i have some theories for the end of it and i feel like maybe the end of this is crazy and the second book is really good but i don't love when books do that when the first one's not the best but it ends crazy and now you want to read the second one the second one's amazing like just make the first one great too i don't know I do know I'm seeing Five Seconds of Summer today, and I'm very excited about that, and that's all. I'm gonna go work a little, and I'm gonna read. We'll see how far I get. I want to just really pick up. I feel like I've gotten a lot done this morning. I woke up at like 7 and immediately started reading, and that's where I got like a bunch of my reading done. It's about like 9.30 right now, so I'll update you guys. I just finished The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni and I was trucking through this. The first maybe like 65% was just so slow and I know a lot of fantasies are like a little bit slower, especially in the first one. They're setting up for the ending. They always give you those plot twists and then you get into the second one. You're in like the realness of the world and the story and all of the characters and their real realness. Do you know what I mean? That's usually what happens in the first one. You are so just blindsided to what this actual story is. That's how I felt in the first half. It was so slow. Like, it was just, like, not much was happening, but there were things that they were going to do. Like, they had the trials. They had new characters and new people coming into the prison, and you're getting her backstory. But it was, like, a lot of words and not a lot happening. I like when it's dialogue heavy and not, like, so much of, like, the describing things. Like, just show me. You know? Don't tell me. But since I heard that the ending of this was so crazy, I just kept thinking of absolutely everything that could possibly happen. I was getting kind of upset because I was like, if I guess this i'm gonna be so upset that i sat through this and i guessed the ending no i didn't guess the plot twist at the end and there's more than one so i thought when i got to the one bigger plot twist that happened towards the end i was like 70 ish percent in maybe a little more i was shook and it wasn't like that big of a reveal i wasn't like okay this is gonna make this book like so good so i was like mm, it's giving 3.75 right now and then obviously i kept reading and i just finished it in the very end of this book the other plot twist the huge one i was shook like i was like speechless shook so i gave this book four stars it was really good again the beginning is just so slow but it makes more sense once you finish the book now i'm like thinking and i'm like i wish i could read this book knowing what i know now and seeing all the things going on like it just makes so much more sense so i have so many questions finishing this book it was really good i do recommend this book i feel like the rest of the series is going to be amazing being how this ended but just know going into it it's really slow but it makes up for it and i had no hope but if it wasn't for my friend that told me that she gave it five stars and just to keep going and she was so excited to see my reactions so i was like okay there's a reason for this so four stars the ending goes crazy and i'm gonna read the second one eventually but that's the last book for this video i need to go tell my mom now the star rating that it has and we'll ask her if she would ever do this again let's get her up here and let's let's end this video i've been waiting for a long time she's here you can tell how long i've been waiting because i literally have chick-fil-a i've been eating over here and just needs a video and i've been sitting here waiting for my mom to come in. I finished the last book for this video and I rated it, what did you think I was gonna rate this? Four. That is so annoying. <laughs> okay. Done. She said four stars. I did give this four stars. You're very good at guessing. I except, am very good. Except the second one, you thought I was gonna give five and I gave two and a half. But I did give this four, this was really fun. The end of this was crazy. And it's a trilogy, so there's two more I could read in this series right here. I bought the other two because I was told this is amazing. So I can't wait to read the second one. That's all. That's the last book you chose for my video. Did you enjoy being in this video? I did. Can I give a shout out? <laughs> yeah. Desi, <laughs> Haley, <laughs> Lauren, 
that's all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for asking my mother to be in a video. It was fun having her pick my reads. I love when other people or other things pick them. And this was very fun. I know you didn't. she didn't have any guide to picking them. She just randomly chose. But it was very fun. And, and that's all. It was fun. I know it was, it was fun. Now I need a romance. I'm going to pick up a romance because... I'll pick it for you. No, Give it to me. no, no, no. Your job is done. You picked enough. I'm going to pick my own romance. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you hopefully. I promise I'm going to come back. <laughs> I'll see you hopefully in the next one. Goodbye. Bye.